hello YouTube, um, Lodi1288. I'm um, showing you guys how to get Super Mario ROMs on your Android phone, whatever you're running. I have the Droid, but yeah, and how to play it with your Wii Remote. All right, first thing you'll need to get Game Boy. So this application right here. I may make a video later. By the way, this is recorded on my iPod Touch 4G, so I may make a video later on how to. No, that's not it. Game Boy. There we go. Game Boy. I'll make a video later how to do it. And I had to get it. And second of all, you'll need to. You need to have root for this one. Because with the Joy, the keyboard, and everything. I shall get to that. Um, you'll need root. But you'll need RW Wii Remote. Game Boy is not in the market. You got to get it off of Mediafire. Just Google search Mediafire. Type in Mediafire, whatever. But, um, yeah. And then RW Wii Remote. For, um, in the market. Just search. RW remote need root and install it. The first one, don't install the first one. Oh, you want it the second one. <laughs> Sorry for the bad video, by the way. But yeah, and um, what you do once you install RW we remote, you need you need to port the functions. You see, first of all, you connect it. Um. Press connect, press one and two. Wait for it to do its thing. Just give it a minute. I don't know. It may not do it the first second, couple of times. But, um. There we go. Success. Alright. And it's connected. And it'll be. It'll be on default. It'll look exactly like this. Default. What you gotta do, you gotta go to keypad, key mapping one. And see, it'll look like that. Key mapping one. Focus, there you go. And then you gotta hit change key mapping. And then change key mapping. I did it to. You need to change one and two. One and two. You need to change it to. Q and W, Q and W for the A and B buttons on Mario. This is why, cause once you get on Game Boy or whatever emulator you use, when you're playing the ROM, I'm in the middle of it. I just lost, but um, settings, um, key settings. See, up, down, left, right. You don't need those. Select M. Select M. Start. Button A. Because what it is, you see how it's 1 and 2? It's naturally 1 and 2. So you got to change. And you can't. Like. Alright. When it says set. You can't set it to 1. Cause you have to press Alt. It'll just set it to Alt. Watch. Alt. See that? That's why you need Q and W. But yeah. And then um, once you get that, you just um, yeah, you go into Game Boy. First of all, you gotta install ROMs. Third app you need to install to download ROMs. So this is my first video, so I mean. To install, where's my raw map at? Sorry, this is what my iPod touch. So, um, where is it? Rom Jet GPA. Rom Jet, Rom, Rom Get GPA, GBA. Rom Get. Game Boy Advance. It's just how to use it. 
Yes, it's in the market. You just search ROM get GPA DBA. Like, do whatever. Search ROMs, and then once you hit it, I'm gonna do <laughs> Barbie. Hit download, and then when you download it, go into your emulator, Game Boy. Hit menu. Menu open and it'll show up there. I already downloaded Super Mario. But yeah. But um it's pretty self explanatory. Once you get it all done. I'll show you. I don't know how I'm gonna hold this. Um You can see it. Go to the castle. And yes. But yeah, um, sorry, I don't know if y'all could have seen that, but um, yeah, I mean, it's pretty, pretty basic, I just died, and it's pretty fast, but um, if since you're root, because the games are laggy, but since you're root, you're on root, super user, you um, it's an app called set CPU, or CPU set or whatever it is. Let me find it. CPU master. That's what I'm using. CPU master. I have mine on 800 megahertz. And you see it was not lag at all. That's how I have mine set and it runs pretty stable, pretty fast. It's it's pretty. But yeah. Um, that's how you do it. And Thanks for watching.